Hey everyone, I want to check my mic. Okay, it's on. I want to talk about scarcity and I want to talk about making decisions from a place of scarcity. I know the light is crazy. The shadows are weird. It's just, it's happening. It's happening. I know that a lot of people in the business community, myself included, are feeling some kind of urgency around, um, and I'm spe speaking specifically to Oregonian businesses right now. We are feeling some kind of urgency around phase one, around reopening. The county I'm in, Multnomah County, is not ready for phase one yet, is not um, even applying for it yet. And I am extremely grateful for the hard work, patience, basically sort of like steely resolve of our leadership here in my county and in the surrounding counties for Portland metro area because if we do this wrong, a lot of people could get hurt, could get sick, could die. And the governor has already said that as we reopen, there will be an uptick in cases of COVID-19, even though we as a state have been extremely lucky and have been doing really well with the stay at home order. And I'm also extremely proud to live in Oregon where we seem to, as a group, be um, in general, you know, wearing masks, doing social distancing, staying inside, um, trying to be really careful with each other's health. And that's priceless, just priceless. I'm so, so glad to live here. I also know that a lot of us business owners are feeling extremely urgent about getting back to business, getting back to normal, being able to make money again and see our clients and customers again and be back out into the world. I'm feeling that I am not going back outside anytime soon. I'm uh, not going to you know, this business, Letteromatic, which is the business I run from this room, has always been an online business. It's never been a person business or a face-to-face -face business. So for me, as a business owner, the impact to my finances was significant, but that was primarily because of the impact to my clients' finances was significant. So I serve the businesses that serve the people. There's no people, there's no business, there's no me. So that's been hard. And I also want to acknowledge that when we, as people and as business owners, make decisions from a space of fear and scarcity, we can, you know, miss things. We can make decisions that harm other people, um, whether we intend to or not. And again, it's somewhat easy for me to say this. I am, I'm here in my office. I can run this whole business from this desk. Also, my clients cannot. And I, I feel our urgency. I can feel the urgency in the business community. And I love us. I love business owners. I love small business owners, entrepreneurs. I am so happy to be a part of this community. And I want us all, because I love us, because I care so much about small business owners, I want us all to take a step back from our feelings of scarcity and urgency. I want us all to, as soon as this video is done, take a walk around the yard, take a walk around the block, just go somewhere else other than where you are right now. It could be across the room. It could just be turning your chair around. Read something that makes you feel abundant and safe talk to someone who makes you feel loved and seen, do what you need to do, you know, stretch or do some jumping jacks or take a shower or write a journal entry or something, do something that has nothing to do with your business, that feeds your soul, that makes you feel safe and seen and loved and abundant. And then come back to thinking or planning for a reopen. When we make decisions from a place of being scared and being scarce, we are just not making decisions with the whole of our brain, right? When we're scared and scarce, all our sort of like frontal lobe, like decision-making 
moral consequences, etc. All that sort of stops really working when we're really stressed out. And we start thinking with the back of our head, which is our sort of like lizard brain fight or flight. When we can relax and feel abundant and feel safe on this planet and in our bodies, then we can make decisions from our whole entire brain, our entirely informed decisions that um, are much more expansive, much more likely to help us personally live our values, live the life we want. But then also because our businesses are extensions of ourselves, because our business values are extensions of our own personal values, they honestly, they help us make money in the long run. They help us keep the people that really belong to us. They help us let go of the people that don't belong to us. They help us make decisions that are going to continue to grow the kind of abundance that we call to the world. And that sounds super woo, but it is. It's, you know, it's values alignment, it's market alignment, it's messaging alignment, it's consistency. It's all the things that we know for a fact that we have studies on bring and retain customers and grow revenue. So making a decision from a place of abundance, from a place of calm, with your whole faculty engaged, it's not just good for you, you know, in terms of like your mental health and your physical health. It's also good for your business health and your financial health. It's going to have long, far reaching consequences, positive consequences for your business and for you, how you show up in the business community and with your customers and clients. So go take a walk, write something, watch some TV, play some video games, draw a picture, do something, cook some food, something that just makes you feel like, ah, oh, yeah, okay, I have enough, I am enough. And then make your business decisions. I know it feels like we have to make decisions on very little information, but we don't. We don't. We can make decisions based on as much information as we have in our own minds and our own hearts and bodies. So do that. See you tomorrow.